Hi, I'm Heidi with Onigo Stamping. Welcome to my craft corner. I am really excited today because I have some fun Halloween treat bag boxes, things to share with you. They're gonna be the perfect little something to tuck a little mini size candy bar in and give it out to maybe trick or treaters or your coworkers, friends, family, uh, kids, grandkids, who knows, it's perfect. I have lots of samples for you too and as well as samples for other holidays because we got lots more holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, it's gonna come fast and furious through the rest of the year. And these will be fabulous little like place settings on your holiday tables so make sure to stick around the end to see those samples as well if you like my video today please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I try to put out a new video to inspire you every Friday and by subscribing to my channel it's gonna help you make sure to, that you see those videos it also lets me know that you're liking it and you're watching it um, and I know that you know what I'm doing is appealing to you. You can also hit the like button or leave me a comment below. I always love to hear from you and I'm always willing to answer questions. All right, Oni Go, let's get stamping. Just show you how to make these fun uh, Halloween treat bags. I'm gonna use my favorite Halloween set for this year, the Clever Cat set. I know you've seen me use this before, uh, but I really love it. You know, I love those cats, so. I'm gonna start, I'm actually gonna start and do the stamping first, and then I'm gonna show you how to put together the box, um, box bag thing. I don't even know what to call it. So I'm starting with the Clever Cats. I have a piece of basic white cardstock. It is one and nine sixteenths by two and 13 sixteenths. Now, if you really don't like the 13 sixteenths inch, or the one sixteenth inch measurements, you could make it one and, uh, one and a half by two and three quarters, so do a little math there in my head <laughs> so I'm using the memento black ink and I'm going to stamp the have a perfect Halloween so we have to have a cat on this I'm gonna stamp that right at the bottom I like to start at the bottom and just kind of work up and of course I got smudged so let's let's uh, flip that over and do it again because there's a back side of the paper and I just started so all right so we'll stamp our sentiment and I'm gonna work up from the bottom. So now I'm gonna stamp my pumpkin and the pumpkin's gonna go off the edges just a little bit. I had to make this really skinny. So there's the outside of my pumpkin. Now I'm gonna stamp my little kitty peeking out from the inside of my pumpkin. Looking adorable. So we'll just add him to the top. I love this because it really doesn't take a lot of different inks. Um, we're gonna add some orange, but that's about it. Now I'm gonna add a little spider up here, maybe one little spider. How about two little spiders? So there we have two spiders up at the top and we're gonna add a string, their little spider, spider string, spider web, I don't know. Does that little string, like when it's just one string, does it have a name? So I'm gonna add that just to the top, put my black ink aside and I'm gonna pull out some comfy pumpkin pie because you know makes sense pumpkin pie for a pumpkin and I have the inside stamp now I love this stamp set because it is a two-step stamping um, set in that you have the inside of the pumpkin so you don't have to do any coloring or anything I can just ink this up with some pumpkin pie ink and I'm gonna stamp it right over top now the inside does not exactly match the outside but that's okay because it gives it this fun kind of like funky colored retro mod look. I don't know what you wanna call it. It's kinda of like a, a highlight to the top there. So there is our stamping. That's all the stamping we're, well, nope, I do have to do one other little bit of stamping. So we're gonna set that aside. Actually, I'm gonna adhere it. I'm gonna grab my multi-purpose glue. And I have a piece of basic black cardstock. It's one and three quarters by three inches. And of course, you'll find all of these measurements over on my website. So. Don't worry about writing them down. Just go to the description to the video and click over to my website and there you're gonna find all of the dimensions. So, super easy. There we go. Now I'm gonna set that aside. We're gonna use it a little bit later. I wanna start pulling out the paper. So the first thing I have is I have a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. It is two inches by 10 and three quarters inches. And we're gonna score this. So to score it, I'm going to use my paper trimmer now it doesn't fit in the camera real well 
Um, but I think the part that you that is important is going to fit. And uh, you could use like a scoreboard or something as well if you wanted to do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just going to start. Now there's two blades on the trimmer. One is a dark gray and one is a light gray. The light gray is the tr is the scoring blade. The dark gray is the cutting blade. So I'm going to use the scoring blade. I'm going to score this at five inches and five and three quarters inches. And this is where we're going to fold this. Now, real quick, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to score at about a quarter of an inch from both ends. We're not going to fold on this line. This is just kind of um, to give us some guidance a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and fold. I'm going to go ahead and just score at about a quarter inch. And I'm going to take a Sharpie and just right over the top of that score line, I'm just kind of making a little mark. So really, this is just to help me find the center. All right. So now I have that in front of me. I do want to do a little bit of stamping on here. So I'm going to grab the pumpkin pie ink again. And then I have the stamp that says it's Halloween. And I'm just going to stamp that all over. I'm just going to tuck that in here. Just kind of cover this whole front. Um, I come down here well so you have to be careful when you're stamping off the side because then um, one side has more ink than the other so I'm going to stamp it off because I want some of the lighter to be in the center too so there we go now my pumpkin pie ink is super juicy it kind of got over overjuiced <laughs> on steroids I don't know um, so it is a little blotchy but that's okay because this is just to give the paper some texture underneath where we're gonna stamp or where we're gonna put the the decoration on the front so I'm just stamping down to that first that first score line just like that And then I'm going to go ahead and fold on these bottoms. And that one, and we'll fold on this score line as well. You can see how this is going to come up. Now, what did I do on these ends? Let's, I'm going to show you what I want to do with these ends. I'm going to use my tailored tag punch. Now, this is a punch. It makes like this diamond shape. I don't know what you call it, um, but I'm going to use it to make a banner end. So what I want to do is I want to actually slide my cardstock in here and then I'm going to pull it out the hole. All right. I'm going to slide that all the way through until I get to that mark that I made. And then I just want to kind of push it back in a little bit, put that mark. Um, you know, I want to cut that part off. So it's really just there to help me. Help me not pull my cardstock all the way through. There we go. So there's one. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll just slide that in. And then I reach in and pull that in, pull that through. And then I'm going to slide that down until I find my mark. There's my mark. Because the problem is if you pull it all the way out so that the paper comes out, um, it's hard to put back in that direction. So putting those little marks help me helps me know where to stop pulling to make it easier. All right. So there's that. Cute, huh? Now we're gonna make the inside to this. I want to make a little bit of inside. I have some six by six designer series paper. This is the cute Halloween paper. Isn't that cute? <laughs> It's just what its name says. It is cute. I want to cut this to be three by six. So I'm just going to start by cutting it in half. So remember, I'm going to use the dark gray, the cutting blade. We'll cut that in half. And now I want to score this at two inches. Oops, not three inches. I want to score it at two inches, two and three quarters inches, four and three quarters inches, and 
five and a half inches. And I'm going to take this and just start folding it. It just folds around just like that. We'll go ahead and use our bone folder and give it some good creases. All right, so I have the skinniest little flap down here folded over and then we're gonna bring this over and fold it and adhere it. So I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus. This is, um, there's two Stamp and Seals and one is like a super heavy duty one. This is the heavy duty one, the Seal Plus. So it spits out these little like tabs of glue. So I just put some down on that side and then I'll just take this and we'll just fold this and match. There we go. So that just makes this little box that is gonna sit inside here. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna put some more adhesive on this. When I put the adhesive on it now, you'll see that there is, when I fold this flat, there is a fold line, a crease right here. I want to put my adhesive over here in the big area. I don't wanna get any adhesive right here because that's gonna be the side of my project. So I'm gonna use my Stamp and Seal Plus again and just put some down next to those fold lines. Now I can open up my little treat bag and I wanna take my folded edge here and I'm gonna line it right up against this edge and then this cut edge is gonna line up against this folded edge. So we're just gonna slide this right in here. Try to line it up good and then push that down you can see that pops up. So this is gonna close up like this. Now you can just leave this open. I was finding that this was kind of like sliding a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually adhere the other side as well. This is a little bit trickier. I'm gonna put the adhesive on. Again, staying in that big area, not the side. All right, but then I have to open this up and just very carefully bring this up. And I kind of like hold the edges to line those edges up. So there we go. Now what I wanna do on the top here, and hope you can see this, I'm just gonna push in a little bit and I'm gonna kinda scrunch the top. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. So it's not scrunched all the way down, it's just a little bit of scrunch straight at the top there. And I wanna put a hole up here. So I have the, I think it's the Label Me Pretty Punch. It has a label on it and then it has this nice um, slotted end and it has a little hole punch. So I'm going to use the slotted end and bring this into the edge and just and then I punched off the little top a little bit but that's okay. All right now I want to put my candy in here and actually I should have put my put my little picture on here beforehand but we're going to do that right now. So we'll take some Stamp and Seal Plus again and we'll adhere this to the front. And I have lots more samples to show you. So stick around because you're going to want to see those. So I'm going to put that right on the front right there. Now I'm going to grab, I have a little Snickers bar, a Twix bar would fit in here as well. The M&Ms might be a little bit big, but I'm gonna show you another box in just a minute. Um, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to make it, but I do have the dimensions over on my, over on my website because it's the same box. Um, I just made it a little bit bigger to hold the M&Ms, but I could put a Snickers or a Twix in here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick a Twix right in there. So it just pops right inside. And then we'll take the top here. I have the glittered organdy ribbon, and I'm gonna slide this through the top. And and just trim the top of this. There we go. And then I have the elegant trim cord and I wanna use the silver for this. So I'm gonna pull out some silver and I'm just gonna tie this around the top. Super easy. Easy to tie, it just, uh, <laughs> you gotta get everything going the right direction, right? 
I'm just going to tie this in a little bow right here and just pull that tight and kind of yeah I'll floof this around a little bit we'll see what it wants to do It's not the straightest bow ever, but we're just going to go with it. It's kind of fun. So there is my little treat bag for Halloween. So let me show you a few more examples that I have here. Um, here is another one that I did the front just the same. But here, instead of using that tailored tag punch, I just took my scissors and trimmed in from the outside, made little cuts on the outside, and then I just wrapped the ribbon around and tied it in a bow. So there's that one. Um, let me see. I have another one with the pumpkin with a little hat on the top. So he's cute too. Here's a little bit bigger one. This is what I put the M&Ms in. So that's really fun. This is the uh, Pattern Party Designer Series paper that I put on there. And then this isn't just for Halloween. Let's, uh, let's stretch our imagination. We could make some little treat bags bags for fall, maybe for Thanksgiving. You could even put this on your Thanksgiving table and maybe put a name on here, use it for a place card with a little treat inside, a little favor. And then we also have one here for Christmas. So the Christmas one uses the Merriest Moment stamp set in Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz in Real Red. And then I have the Gingerbread and Peppermint Designer Series paper on the inside. And then this one for fall uses the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. Um, with some Cajun Craze paper out here and just a little bit of the Mango Melody uh, 6x6 Designer Series paper on the inside. So really easy and fun, fun little treats for Halloween for your little trick-or-treaters or, you know, another holiday as well. So you could even grab, uh, grab that after Halloween candy sale candy uh, and wrap it up for Christmas or Thanksgiving. You put it in a cute package. You don't need to buy special holiday candy if you do it yourself. You can get that candy on clearance uh, coming up real soon. So, Did you love those little treat bags with the cute little clever cat popping out of a pumpkin? Ugh. I just, that's it. I love it. And I love these little treat bags. I'd love to know who you're going to make a treat bag for. Um, so leave a message in the comments below and let me know who you're going to make one of these treat bags for because I love to hear from you and love to know that you are using my ideas. If you liked today's video, go ahead and like, subscribe, share it with all your friends, and then come on back and see me for more tips, techniques, and inspiration. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.